today we're gonna to be making some jalapeno poppers. So you go to any Mexican restaurant, uh, any little bar, they're gonna have them as a snack. Beer snacks, absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna run you guys how to do it and I've got all the tools to make that happen. So I've got about 125 grams of the cream cheese. We've got a uh, manchego, so it's like a, a light Spanish sheep's milk cheese, so it's, it's not too intense when it comes to flavour. Bit of smoked paprika, give that a good hit, so I, I'd say a couple of teaspoons of that. And some coriander, so we're just going to finely chop that cori, so we get a nice even distribution throughout all of the jalapeno poppers. All right. All right, all that in there, time to put this little guy to work. So I'm just gonna hand mixer. Uh, if you've got a stand mixer, food processor, anything like that, we'll do the job for you. But you wanna make sure that your cream cheese is nice and soft so you can bring it together really easily. Just be warned, I don't know how this is gonna go. Just gently, gently. There we go, there we go. Not a problem. Nailed it, all right. All right, so we've worked that all in. See the coriander, the cream cheese, the manchego, the smoked paprika. You can tell with that nice even color in the cream cheese mix. All right, I'm gonna have to belt all of that out of there. Bear with me. Ah. All right. Oh man, this is painful. <laughs> oh, whose idea was this? All right. Here we go, we're making headway here. <laughs> we had a bit of a rest. Okay, so cream cheese mix is all together. We don't need to put any seasoning in there. Uh, there's that little bit of salt that will be in the manchego cheese, but then once we fry them off, we'll season them at the end. The jalapeno itself, little tool, teaspoon. We're gonna use the, the handle and we'll just make a small incision just on the one side. So from top to bottom, and then we use the tip of the teaspoon just to take out the membrane. It does two things, removes a bit of the heat. If you guys want to, you can leave it in there, but it also makes room for the cream cheese, which is more the point. You want to fill them right up with the cream cheese. All right, so we just want to scrape that out and then we've got a nice cavity there for all the cream cheese. Now I've just got to go ahead, prep the rest of these jalapeno poppers and then we'll put them through a basic egg wash. We've got all of those filled up and we've got a real basic, straightforward egg wash set up here. Plain flour, two eggs and about a cup of panko crumbs. So you guys know the drill. Just give it a light coating in the flour, into the egg wash and use the little stem if you can. Just try to avoid getting too much egg on your fingers. All right, and then I always just lift a little bit up so you can go straight over the top and then get that packed on there. Because you've got that little opening, I would go again. So you get a little bit more flour on them. So we're gonna double crumb these just to make sure you've got a really nice crispy shell around those poppers. Give it a little tap, more egg, and then you lift up the panko. Drain off any excess, lay it on, and then panko over the top. All right, so we've got the fry set at 170. We'll just lower that in using that little handle, the stem, and we'll just fry that away. That'll probably take five to six minutes to get it really nice and golden and crispy. And then we can repeat that procedure with the, uh, with the egg wash, flour, egg, panko, and repeat it to get a really nice crispy crust around that jalapeno popper. Nice color on the poppers here. So I'm just gonna line them up on this plate, give them a quick seasoning of salt over the top, a little bit of lemon juice if you want, and you are ready to go. A little bit of salt. There we go. Golden brown delicious jalapeno poppers. That's fine.
crunchy, spicy, cheesy, salty, delicious.